Hi everyone, so today we're going to learn how to determine the behavior of y as t goes to infinity based on the direction field we drew. We have to make a statement of y's behavior for each range of y given in the table. Each range represents a region on the direction field above, below, between, or equal to equilibrium solutions. Equilibrium solutions are y values for which y prime is equal to zero. Therefore, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven statements. If the sign of y prime is positive, then y goes to the closest asymptote above it, or if there's no asymptotes above it and it has a positive slope, then it will go to infinity. Similarly, if the sign of y prime is negative, then y will go to the closest asymptote below it, or if there are no asymptotes below it, then it will go to negative infinity. If y not is equal to any of the values in which y prime is equal to zero, y will stay at that y not value as t goes to infinity. We start off each statement by saying as t goes to infinity, and then we say when y naught is less than negative 3. We know that the sign of y prime is positive, so therefore it will go to the closest asymptote above it, which is negative 3. When y naught is between negative 3 and negative 2, we know the sign of y prime is negative, so it's going to go to the asymptote below it, which is also negative 3. When y naught is between negative 2 and a 2, in this region right here, we know that the sign of y prime is positive, so it's going to go to the asymptote right above it, which is Two. When y naught is above 2, it has a negative slope, as shown here. It's going to go to the asymptote right below it, which is 2. If y naught is equal to negative 3, negative 2, or 2, as t goes to infinity, it stays at that value of, of y because it has a slope of 0. y naught of negative 3 will stay at negative 3, y naught equals negative 2 will stay at negative 2, and y naught of 2 will stay at 2 as shown in the direction field. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Hopefully you liked it. Stay tuned for some more short videos on differential equation concepts. Have a great day.